Hi, I'm Dion. Hi, I'm Taylor, and we're from Tiny Singlets. Today we're going to teach you how to make bread. There's four ingredients, plus cornmeal for dusting. Let's get started. Today we're going to show you how to make a bread which requires no kneading. This recipe helped me restore my bread baking confidence, and it's a recipe that I use all the time. Instead of kneading the dough, allowing it to sit in the refrigerator lets the gluten develop and the result is a very flavorful bread. I discovered this artisan bread recipe while reading through a friend's blog, which belongs to photographer, chef, and pillar of the food blogging community, the one and only Chef Dennis. You will need three cups of water, one and a half tablespoons of active dry yeast, one and a half tablespoons of salt, Six and a half cups of flour, cornmeal for dusting, your pan, or baking stone. If you're baking along with us today, go ahead and prepare your ingredients before we get started. Combine your salt, yeast, and water into your mixing bowl. You can put them in any order you want. Give it a little stir and let it rest for about mm, five to ten minutes. Because we are using active dry yeast, it's important to let the yeast sit in the water for about 5 to 10 minutes before adding the dry ingredients. The yeast will start to look slightly foamy, and then you can continue. While Taylor's measuring out her flour for her next step, I wanted to teach you a couple of very important things that you must remember whenever you're baking with yeast. Not all yeasts are the same you need to make sure that you have the correct yeast for what the recipe requires. It's equally important to be very careful of the temperature of the liquids that you're adding to your recipe. If the liquid is too hot, you could kill your yeast. It's a good idea to use the digital thermometer to double check your temperatures to be on the safe side. Now it's time to add your flour. Now combine everything until the dough forms. You can do this with a mixer, food processor, bread machine, or the old-fashioned way with a bowl and a wooden spoon. Place your dough in a storage container and cover loosely for about two hours and let it rise. It's best to let your dough sit overnight, tightly covered in the refrigerator, before baking your first loaf. Preheat your oven to 450 degrees with your pizza stone or a baking sheet inside your oven and prepare a small cutting board by dusting it with cornmeal. Remove one third of the dough, forming into a ball, and place it on your cornmeal dusted surface. After the dough has risen for 40 minutes, dust the top with flour and cut slices in the top of your bread for that artisan look. Slide your dough off the cutting board and onto your baking stone and bake for about 30 minutes. When your bread is finished, it will be a nice dark brown in color. Do your best to let it rest for at least an hour before you start cutting into it. Thank you for learning how to bake bread with us. Don't forget to visit us on our food blog and Facebook. See you there.